Well, hello there, beautiful shrimp people. Welcome back to Mark Shrimp Tanks. In today's video, we are, right, we are going to continue with our treatment for our Hydra. Right, so what we're going to use for that, guys, is no planaria, like we did the previous day. So for this video specifically, this is treatment two, which is on day three. Well, I hope this makes sense. Right? I'm going to add all of this to a playlist just for this one thing and how to treat Hydra with no planaria. Right, so let's get on to today. Let's go on with the treatment. I have actually looked at both tanks already and I can see a noticeable difference in the Hydra. Some of them have shrunk up to like just a little white ball. Other ones look kind of similar. So this is why it's important to keep on dosing this stuff when you're trying to treat Hydra is you've got to keep, it's like antibiotics guys, you've got to keep up the course to kill them, kill the bad bacteria. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. So what we have planned now is we're actually going to administer our second dose. To, so to be clear guys, this is on day three, and it is the second dose. So let's start off with uh, our bottle. These uh, are always awesome to have in a shrimp room. Just cola bottles, this is one and a half liter. You've seen me use this for my lactobacillus as well. They're just good to have around, guys. And then you have your funnels like this, as we've talked about before, they always have a place in the shrimp room. And and next what you're going to need for this guys is no planaria, right? So I don't have mines in the original package because as I said before, uh, mines, the seal of mine separated, the plastic seal separated from that mylar bag, right? So mine's no longer sealed. So I put it in this, this thing here, you see it? And all I do with mines guys is I add 0 0.2 grams per 40 liters of water or 10 gallons, right? So 0 0.2 grams is a very, very small amount. Let me show you. Now, this is probably heaped as well because some of my tanks are not just 40 litres, some of them are 50 litres, so doing this is okay, you can see it. Let's get this into our funnel like this. And let's close this. Always make sure that you close all your containers and your shrimp room with medication and things like salt guys, because what will happen is it will go off and it will go bad. So let's add in our water here, like this. And yeah, we don't need to add so much water like we did the other day, maybe a quarter of a litre or something like that, because this is just the solution to get the medication into the tank. Let's get that out of there. And then guys, we're going to give it a shake because as we talked about before, no planaria is, there's a word for it. Is it hydrophobic? No, is that a fear of water? <laughs> something like this, hydro, I can't remember the exact word for it. But you want to give this a shake just to make it a little bit easier to administer it into your tank because if you don't, what will happen is the powder will float on the surface and because of surface, we talked about this the other day, because of surface tension, it will get drawn to the sides and then as your water evaporates in your tank, your, your medication is actually left up on the side of the tank, which is uh, no good to anyone, right? So that is why you must actually do this. And so because we struggled to get our medication into the tank the other day because this bottle was too big, let's put it into this little container here. It's a quarter of a litre, I think this is, 250 ml, this little thing. Hopefully it's big enough to hold this. If not, we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to come back twice for this little amount. Right, let me take you off the camera mount and we'll go and have a look up at the Crystal Red Shrimp tank because uh, there's been a development there as well. Let's have a little look. Okay guys, let's grab our medication for our tank, not for us, not the coffee mark. And let's get this into our little crystal red shrimp tank up here. So let me put it in first guys and then we can talk about what's been happening. Uh, we need to add this kind of all over the tank like we talked about before. I know there's a little bit extra but I'll put that in in a second. You want to make sure this is mixed in well. Rinse your container get any of the little drips and drabs it and yeah let's have a little talk about this tank it is noticeable as i said i always take macro footage of all the stuff i do i do apologize for the glare it's not really something i can do about um but we have a hydra in here and uh, yeah it's in different stages of closing up and disappearing and whatever else because guys you will remember right i took a little bit of macro footage of this point here right I'll show you that again right now, but there's nothing here at all. It's just completely disappeared, the part that was here. So I'm not sure what has happened to it, but it is gone. But there are other bits in the tank, guys, where it looks like just little white blobs, like little white dots. This is what actually happens to the Hydra eventually. But I can also see in here 
that there is still hydra that is away up here like it's in its tentacle form so this is something that we must continue to endorse so i can see on the plants as well there was a piece over here i probably showed in the first video that was in its tentacle form it's like it's all shriveled up almost to nothing now so yeah we must keep up with our changes right so the other thing that was interesting it was something that we talked about with this tank as well is there was buried girls in this tank and yeah i wanted to see how this affected the baby shrimp i i'm i as i said guys i don't like testing stuff on animals it's not the way i am but um using stuff like no planaria is a thing that is part of our shrimp keeping now and uh, we must ensure that all of the hydra is gone because hydra actually kills baby shrimp and we've talked about that in the previous video so we must make sure that uh, what we're dosing into the tanks is fine so the, really the only way for you to do this guys is to test stuff right it is, it is everyone says it's safe right i'm not so sure but i did see baby shrimp in this tank yesterday i don't actually see any just now but i'll put up some macro footage again there was a couple on the glass of the top here that i saw so our biggest female in here she had her babies all right guys so this is the next tank that we are actually going to dose with our no planaria i'm looking at the glass here and i can see the same thing again all the hydra that, that is in there it's all um it's all that like collapsed on itself and it's and instead of being like something that is long like your arm with the flowing head in the top it's actually just collapsed into like a whitish ball so that means that it's actually dying right so let's get our next uh, treatment up and going let's grab our funnel again let's put our powder in first now this tank for sure is 40 liters we have a very nice buried girl in here i managed to get some photography of macro footage and video form of yesterday uh, which i will share with you guys as well right because this guy is, is meant to be my um blue boat panda tank and yeah it's not going so well in there and we were testing a soil in this tank and this is a uh, tropica a uh, plant soil and so far it hasn't been so good right so we probably will change we'll probably move the shrimp out of this tank right and the thing I want to make clear guys is, is there's things in this tank that I still want to use in the future. For example, we want to use uh, the big bit of wood with the java moss on it. We also want to use the sponge filters and the tank itself we're going to use again right, later on. Right? And I, guys, I don't typically do the thing where you fill the thing with water and then bleach the tank to sterilize everything. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of using bleach in an aquatic environment because it's, it's really bad for it. <laughs> and so. Uh, we do it this way and yeah we'll be good to go we'll be able to reuse all the stuff in our tank so we've got a powder in there like i showed you before let's get our water in we're going to go for a quarter of a liter again and that'll do lovely put our lid on yeah so start keeping all your cola bottles guys start keeping at least some of them i probably have about five or six of them in the shrimp room like this and what's really important, as we talked about before, guys, is, is that we actually spread this out evenly across the tank. As much as you can, try and spread it out as evenly across the tank as possible. Because uh, the thing I noticed with the Crystal Red Shrimp tank up there is the stuff that looked like it wasn't affected so much was the stuff that was higher up in the column. So that... <coughs> More coffee! <coughs> so that tells me that the powder... Uh, sinks to the bottom or sinks against stuff or, or sinks into the plants or whatever else and it doesn't doesn't really stay in the water column as long as you think it does right so this is why it's important that we mix it up well like this and then spread it out evenly across the tank all right guys let me move you a little bit closer here so you can see from this angle here <laughs> now let's get our lid off our weed lid I'm going to bring this forward a little bit, this lid, because I want to make sure that we get our concoction near the filter as much as we can. I don't want to take all this stuff off, right? So make sure your stuff is shaken and not stirred. And let's put it in. Put some near the filter at the back because this will help spread it out evenly. Like this. And then I'm going to simply put this in the front here. This tank is very full. I just noticed the water level here. That's maybe something we should uh, take down a little bit. 
Right, and I'm actually going to put a little bit more water in here because we're not going to use this again for anything else. So I'm basically just rinsing out the bowl and there's probably powder residue in here and it can all go back into the tank like this. Alright guys, so there you have it. There is our second course of our treatment on day three. The next video for this will be, the, be on day five, which will be our final dosage of treatment into the tanks. And that will be our third course. That, then after this guys, that is basically all you have to do. You need to sit on your hands, wait, make sure all your hydra is dead. What I typically do, as I said before, is I wait two weeks and then I like to add a little bag. You get a pair of uh, pantyhose or tights guys. You make sure you clean them first, put them in boiling water and then you rinse them, you make a little bag from pantyhose and you can use a little cable tie. We'll do that on this channel, the probably in the fourth video, because I want to do this like first course, second course, third course, and then a follow up video, which will be the fourth course, which is basically how you get the medication back out the tank right? Because as we spoke about before, our medication is quite harmful to worms, worm species and snails, right? What I would also like to mention guys, which probably pop up in the screen right now here, is I'm actually adding the members onto the end of my videos again as a recognition and thank you for all the support through the years. So it'll be all over my face here. On this here side here, you'll probably see something that says uh, watch another video or something like that. But guys, I want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Happy shrimp keeping.